This here is my third pair of Valve Index controllers. As you know, I had a big problem with them, like most of you had, they wouldn't click. So I sent back the original ones that I got quite a long time ago, had to wait for four weeks just to receive new ones that also didn't click. And at that point, ClickGate was born. Now I know that lots of you asked me for an update to this story and this is this video. These controllers, I actually got them a few weeks back, but I didn't make a video because I was so busy like working on the headquarters. So therefore this video now. You came here to find out if these controllers click now and if it's safe now for you to order the Valve Index controllers. And I don't want to beat around the bush here with this video. Yes, they click and I'm really happy about them clicking. Yeah, it should have been like this from the very beginning and Valve shouldn't have put me through all the pain of sending these controllers back and forth, but I'm actually really happy now that they finally click. They click in all directions, directions just as they are supposed to do, so it's not harder now. If I, if I like um, point the thumbstick in any direction and then click, there's no difference in how much force I have to apply if it's in the middle or if it's like pointing forwards and that's exactly how they should have been from the very beginning. So is it safe now for you to purchase them? I would say that yes, I believe that Valve secretly <laughs> has fixed this issue and I believe that now you can actually buy those controllers, order those controllers and you can expect them to work fine. What do I think about all of this? <laughs> well, I'm going to let you know what I think about all of this click gate issue in the rest of this video, but I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to get it out right from the beginning that, yeah, th that these click now. Anyways, stay tuned for my opinion about how Valve actually dealt with this problem all in this video and it's coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is all about VR. So if you want to find out which controllers are the best and for which controllers you should rather wait first because there's some issue that first needs to be fixed, this is the channel to subscribe to. And I would be happy if you did subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. All right, so after a long time, finally I got knuckles that click in all directions and of course I'm happy about it, but I'm not so happy about how Valve actually dealt with this problem. In my opinion, they did not do a good job here. So what did they do? Well, they never acknowledged the problem at all and well, they secretly kind of made it go away. And why do I think that this was not the great way to do it? Well, because people like me and people like you, the early adopters, they had to go through so much pain. It's like it has been a long story and I don't even want to show you my communications with the Valve support. It was going back and forth and now like sending those, those back for the second time was a big pain in the ass because, well, I didn't want to send in my second controllers that I received from them first. I wanted them to directly send me new ones because I didn't want to be without controllers for another several weeks, right? So I really, really tried super hard to convince them to simply send me new and working ones without me having to send them back. But they totally would not do that even though they did this with other people and I heard from others others that they did get this kind of service. So I was really wondering why Valve? Why wouldn't you do this? Why wouldn't you directly send fixed ones to me? But no, they totally said okay you have to send them back and it was a very it was a very unhappy conversation that I had with Valve. So I would have hoped that this would have gone much better. So in my opinion, what they should have done, they should have acknowledged, yes, we had a problem with the first batch, we're fixing it right away and if you have this problem, you know what, we're simply going to send you new ones, just say a word and we're going to send them over. This, in my opinion, would have been the right way 
to deal with this problem rather than just saying nothing and yeah, leaving us, the end consumers, those early adapters to fight with them, to get them. So in my opinion, that was not great. And in my opinion, this is tarnishing Valve's reputation when it comes to VR hardware and how we trust whatever they say in the future whenever they have new hardware. Well, that's at least my opinion. And I would really love to know what you think about this. Do you agree with me? And do you also think that Valve did not really handle this problem in a great manner? Please do let me know in the comment section below. I'm really looking forward to your opinion. For all of you who still have the index controllers, they would not click when pointed into a direction. I can just tell you, send them back as soon as possible because obviously what they said that this was by design, that was of course utter bullshit. So definitely do send them back and get new controllers that work simply as they should work in the first place. Now that they are fixed, do I believe that actually all are fixed? I believe so because I he heard from other people who also sent them back and who got working ones. Also, recently I heard from people in the comment sections who did order new ones and they also directly appeared at their doorstep working. So I believe that Valve indeed fixed them secretly. Now that they are fixed, what do I think about those controllers? Do I still like them? Do I like them more? I can tell you that I really like those controllers and I do think that at the moment they are the best controllers on the market even though I must still say and I said that in the very beginning when everybody was hyping them I still think they are not super great ergonomically and I still believe they could have made a better job when it comes to ergonomics. Still. I believe that at this moment, these are the best controllers. And if I have the choice out of all the controllers, I would choose these controllers. So yes, still, I like them a lot and I can totally recommend them to you right now. At the end of this video, I would like to thank all of the supporters of MRTV who helped to make this channel happen. So I don't need to make friends with Valve. Sorry, Valve. So I can tell you all these things. So thank you so much to all of my Patreon supporters. And if you want to support this channel too with only $3, simply go to mrtvelite.com. A special thank you to the three MRTV champions who sponsor this channel. So thank you so much to Modicap who who do amazing modifications for the Rift S and also for the Quest, the Modicap sound kit, which will give you Sennheiser sound on the Rift S and also very soon on the Quest. Then thank you so much to Human Eyes, who, do, who make the Views XR 3D camera, 180 degrees camera, my favorite VR camera. And I'm going to show you really nice footage on this channel soon. And of course, a huge thank you to VR cover the hygiene solution for all of your favorite VR headsets and all the links in the description below. And that's it for this video. I really hope it was helpful for you. If yes, why don't you give it a big thumbs up? And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, why don't you do it now and click on the bell button so don't miss anything. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.